I have had some of these products for a very long time now. I have been trying and testing Trelix products since the very beginning of this channel. I think I bought these specifically for this channel to test them and try them and talk about my thoughts on them. It was one of the first product reviews I did. That being said, I have come a very long way since then and partially just my, um, my video making skills. Those videos are very old and not super well done. But I've also really just learned a lot about my hair on this channel. Things like how much product to use and what kind of products my hair likes. So I want to touch back on these Trelix products. So I've actually done three different wash days with these products and I've done different pairings together. And I want to see which one really works well for me and talk about what I would recommend with these products for you and which one I think you should choose. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. If you do like content like this, please do like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Lena and welcome to my bathroom. Before we get into these separate wash days, let's kind of talk about the company a little bit more specifics on the products like as a whole. So first thing off company, Trelux is a black owned company. All of the products from Trelux are a little bit higher budget. All of them range somewhere between $17 and $26, I believe. Uh, you can get them either from discovertrelux.com or a lot of these are also available at Whole Foods and Walgreens. They do do a lot of sales, so that would be a good time to pick them up if you were curious about them. All of these products are vegan. They're all cruelty free. They're all sulfate-free, silicone-free, paraben-free. They do have two different collections. They have one that they call their 360 Curl Complex collection. And these are products that uh, have kind of more of this like florally pattern to them. So what they're claiming is that things in it like the aloe, the tomato, the keratin, and the rice extract, all of them increase elasticity. They also improve flexibility of your hair, as well as they help to hydrate your hair, as well as retaining that moisture in your hair. It's supposed to help kind of smooth your strands to make them nice and shiny and kind of improve the texture of your hair. It's actually also supposed to help strengthen the hair by stabilizing the bones within your actual hair's cortex. They have a second line that they've come out with more recently, which includes a curl defining mousse, as well as a deep conditioner. I don't have the deep conditioner, but this particular line is from the Soothe and Restore line. So the Soothe and Restore line is just really supposed to help soothe and restore your hair, I guess. That being said, let's go ahead and move through all of these different wash days. I will do a 360 curl tour at the very end of the video where I'll line all three of these wash days up one after the other so you can compare them side by side and pick a little better which might be your favorite. That being said, I'm not going to go too in depth about how I actually style my hair. So if you do want a little bit more information on that, I will link my most current styling routine up above for you. So let's go ahead and get into this. Right, starting off with wash day number one. So wash day number one was based off of the first review that I did of these products. The first two products that I bought were the Trelux 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream as well as a High Definition Styling Gel. So starting off with this wash day, I did section my hair into three like I always do, and I opened up the Curl Supreme 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream and took a little bit out of my hand. You can see this is a very thick thick product. The smell of this particular product is very light and just a little bit sweet and I really like the smell of it. Uh, so I worked this into the bottom section of my hair. It works through pretty easily. It's nice and slippery, very easy to apply. So then after that I did go in with the Trelux High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. So you can see this particular gel. I almost put this more in the category of like what I would consider a custard. It has that very similar texture where it's just very runny, a very light consistency. And working through my hair, it was very easy to apply, very nice and slippery. The smell of this particular product is what I would kind of consider as herb like um, is the best way I can say it. Sage is one of the ingredients in here. So maybe that's where that's coming from. This is kind of like a sage like smell. So I worked this the bottom section has a lot of really good slip. So let's go ahead and get into these products one by one. So starting with the Trelux Curl Supreme 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream. So this particular product ranges around $22. The 4-in-1 section of it that they're talking about is that it's supposed to hydrate, strengthen, protect, and style. This product, like I said, is rather heavy. So if you do go in with this, and especially if you have a looser pattern than I do, you're going to want to start off very, very small and just dip your finger in it for each section. You don't need a ton of this. Things that they're saying about this, this Curl Supreme 4-in-1 Hydrating Cream is a botanical formula that restores moisture to dry hair, fortifies damaged strands and defines curls while protecting curly tresses. 
The souffle-like creme is packed with premium natural oils and botanical extracts to nourish and protect while providing a soft hold. And that is the thing about this particular product. They are saying that it has a soft hold, and I have actually tested that out. I think that was in my very first product battle. So definitely go check that out if you're curious how this works on its own. Now, really quick, some things about the ingredients in this. Aloe is the second ingredient. Then it has coconut oil right after that. So again, you're seeing that this is a pretty heavy product. Um, other than that, the keratin amino acid is pretty high up on the list, so it does have a decent amount of protein to it. And then this is a glycerin-free product, which is definitely a thumbs up. Has a lot of other good ingredients in it. Uh, it, ha it does have some shea butter in it, but it's pretty low down the list. It does have like an emulsifying wax and a xanthan gum down at the bottom of the list. So moving into the high definition gel, the high definition gel ranges anywhere around $18. It's supposed to give you long lasting curl definition, luminous shine, and a moisture balance. So they're saying on this particular product, say hi to amazing curl definition and buy to pesky frizz. This curl defining nutrient rich puree is infused with avocado, sage and honey extracts and are all natural 360 curl complex to provide enhanced curl definition and luminous shine with medium to high hold. So that's the thing about products with this kind of texture is that they are really buildable. So you can put just a little in your hair for a lighter hold. You can put kind of an average amount for a more medium hold, or you could put a lot in your hair for a really hard hold. The ingredients on this particular product, I do see that again, aloe leaf is the second ingredient. And then you also have carrageenan gum, which is a seaweed extract, as well as xanthan gum are pretty high on the list. The keratin amino acid is a little bit further down the list on this one, but not super far down. And then it has a lot of other oils and extracts in it. This is a glycerin free product. It just has a lot of film forming humectants and oils in it. So I went in with both of these. I was kind of light handed with both of them a little bit. Uh, and I raked it through each particular section. I went in to define with my solution bore bristle brush, worked at my head until it was done on the top. Then I did go in and microplop with my perfect hair care towel to get as much moisture out as possible. And then I did glaze a little bit more of the high definition gel over the top of my hair, scrunched it in and then diffused. I diffused until my hair was probably about 90% dry. And then I used the curl paper clips to clip it up and away for a couple hours until I could come back. So then I took that down, fluffed and scrunched. Um, I did have a little bit of a cast on my hair. But it was really easy to fluff it up. Here are my results for wash day number one. So overall, my thoughts of this were very positive. I felt like it had a lot of really good shine to it. It was really nice and soft to the touch, as well as the definition was pretty good, especially on the curlier section down on the bottom where I have a tighter texture. It looked very nice. And then on the top section, that's a little bit more on the wavy side. It still looked pretty decent and I was happy with it. And not only that, but the frizz level was pretty low. The only downside to this particular wash day for me was that the volume was a little bit low. Uh, it wasn't awful, but it was just a little lower than I am used to. So let's go ahead and move into discussions on the longevity of this wash day. So on day two, after 24 hours, I came back, I fluffed up my hair, and this is what it looks like. Overall, I was pretty happy with it. I mean, obviously the wavy sections have kind of fell pretty loose, but that's very, very normal for me. Uh, the frizz was to be expected. So I was very happy with how this held up. And moving into wash day number two, and I did come in with my hair very soaking wet, like I normally do, but instead of starting by sectioning my hair into three, I actually went in with a little bit of leave-in conditioner. So this is the Trey Lux Untie the Knot Nourishing Leave-in Conditioner, and I took a pump of this in my hand. It's just a very leave-in conditioner consistency. And then the smell of this, the reason that I wanted to put this in my hair is because it smells so good. It just smells like fall. It's just cinnamon and beautiful and everything. And I love it. That being said, I don't tend to use a ton of leave-in conditioners nowadays. I made a video about it pretty recently. So when I did go in with this, I went in with a pretty small amount. So I took a little bit of this and raked it through each side. It does remove knots and tangles pretty well. After that, I did section my hair into three. And then I went in with my next product on the bottom section. And that is the Trelex Reflex Curl Styling Serum. So this serum is a very lightweight, very runny, clear, almost gel-like product and very slippery. And the smell of this particular product is very light and very sweet and not very overpowering at all. So this does work through your hair very well. It's very nice and slippery and very easy to work with. Uh, that being said, it is a lighter hold product and I do tend to like at least a medium hold. So after that, I did follow it up with the high definition gel. And uh, we've already talked about this, so I won't go into a ton of detail on this particular product, uh, but I did scoop up some of this and rake it through my hair. Let's go ahead and move through this. I'm gonna talk about these two new products. Let's start off with the leave-in conditioner. So this particular product is somewhere typically around $19. Uh, it is formulated to smooth and easily detangle while also replenishing moisture and nourishing from 
from within your hair strands. It's meant to be pretty lightweight. On here it says, untie the knot nourishing leave-in conditioner was designed with you in mind. The naturally based conditioner formulated with coconut milk, slippery elm, and olive oil allows for ease of detangling while moisturizing and softening every strand of your textured tresses. The formula is reinforced with a combination of avocado and broccoli seed oils to smooth hair and seal the cuticle, helping to maintain healthy curls and coils. Uh, this does say it's for wavy curly and coily textures. And then again, talking about the ingredients on this, the second one is actually coconut oil. After that is avocado oil, but then again, we have aloe leaf juice. Uh, so something to keep in mind really with this is that it might actually still be a little bit heavier than some people are going to want to go with. Other things about this is this does have the carotene amino acids. That being said, they are a lot further down the list. Uh, and then this is also a glycerin free product. So the Reflex Styling Serum is also somewhere around $19. On the back, it says here that the Reflex Curl Styling Serum was created to bring flexible hold to your curly and wavy styles without sacrificing the bounce of your curls. Our lightweight liquid styler provides just enough slip to glide through every twist and turn of your tresses while adding definition and increasing curl elasticity for those bounce back curls you've been waiting to unleash. Botanical extracts help to provide shine and smooth texture to showcase your curls, while a coconut water, aloe juice, and fusion delivers moisture to thirsty curls, keeping them rejuvenated throughout the day. So I have actually never used this particular product on its own. If you were curious to see a video where I do that, let me know. But ingredients wise, the second ingredient is aloe leaf juice. And then we have the carotene amino acid is a little bit farther down the list, but not super, super far down the list. Other than that, though, a lot of the ingredients in this are pretty lightweight. Coconut, grapeseed, uh, juniper berry, sage. This product is also glycerin free. So that's a big positive as well. So applying these products all the way through my hair and then defining with my so and bristle brush. At the very end, I did micro plot my hair, squishing as much of that water out as possible. And then I did go in with a little bit more of the gel glazed over my hair before diffusing my hair until it was about 80 to 90% dry. Now I did clip my hair up away with the curl keeper clips. But this particular day was the day before a party. I'm just preparing you for this, okay? So I was getting ready for the party. We had to go on a bunch of errands and I did not realize how windy it was. My hair was completely dry at this point, but just because it was so windy, what I did is I kind of took, um, I think it was a car seat cover for my daughter when she was younger and I used it kind of like a scarf and I used it to cover my hair. What I actually ended up doing was pulling all my hair to one side and kind of just covering it with that one side. So I think that did have an effect on my results. So let's talk about that. So after all of this, my hair was blown around, came in fluffed and scrunched. Uh, and here are my final results. The left side of my head was a little bit scraggly, a little bit frizzy. And I think that was because because I had drawn it all over to the right side to help protect it. It was also kind of stretched out from pulling it over my shoulder. It didn't look great on the left side, so I'm gonna focus on the right side because that's the side that was really protected the best. So my particular thoughts about this wash day was I was actually relatively happy with it for uh, the amount of weather that it endured. <laughs> um, it was a little bit on the frizzier side, but I feel like had I not gone out into the elements and the wind and tried to protect my hair with that car seat cover, which wasn't silk or satin, so it probably increased the frizz just a little bit by putting it over the top of it, um, I feel like it wouldn't have been that frizzy and this would have been a really good wash day because overall I still did have a lot of really good curl definition uh, and overall I actually felt like I had more definition in that wavy section than my last wash day and then on top of that the shine was still very good it was very nice and soft and I did feel like it had more volume. Now moving into the longevity of this particular wash day, all things considered with how it was treated the day before, I was actually pretty happy with how it held up. I did go in on the left side only and I refreshed the left side because the right side still looked phenomenal and I was very happy with the right side. The definition was still pretty good. The frizz actually hadn't increased that much from the day before. I wanted to kind of do some repair work on that left side that wasn't super good because like I said, this was the day of a party. So what I did was I sprayed my hair down just a little tiny bit with water and then I glazed a little bit of the styling serum over the top of my hair, scrunched it in, I can't remember whether or not I diffused. Here is what my hair looked like after all of that and then fluffing back up and scrunching. Um, and honestly, it still looked really good, like I said, all things considered. And after using the reflex to refresh those curls on the left side, I felt like I actually had some really good definition done on that left side on the bottom section. So I was actually still pretty happy with this. All right, moving into wash day number three. So this was a brand new product for me. Um, this particular wash day, all I used was the Soothe and Restore Curl Defining Mousse. And I wanted to try this on its own, partially because I've been testing a lot of foams on their own more recently. I want to see how they work as one and done products. I know they're saying that it is a curl defining mousse 
It does fit more in the foam category. It's in a pump bottle. You don't need to shake this. Just pump a little in your hand. The texture of this is very smooth, very silky almost, and maybe just a little tiny bit creamy. Uh, the scent of this particular product, I cannot put my finger on it. I really just can't. Um, it's maybe just like the slightest light, sweet scent to it. Um, all I can say is, let me know if this has ever happened to you, but this particular product brings in mind some nostalgia to me from when I studied abroad in Japan. I don't know if maybe it's the scent of a product that I tried over there. In hindsight, it does maybe have a slightly peachy scent to it. Anyway, so let's talk about this particular product. And I started with just a little bit of an amount because I didn't want to overdo it at first. So I raked this through the bottom section and then started using my brush to define going up through the top. But let's talk about this product a little bit. The cost of the Soothe and Restore Curl Defining Mousse is somewhere around $23. The description of this says, Whip your curls into shape with our Soothe and Restore Curl Defining Mousse, formulated to provide long-lasting hold using lightweight ingredients that allow your curls or waves to be formed and free. Great for wash and goes or low manipulation styles where fullness and definition are a must. Uh, they also say that this product can actually be used on wet hair or dry hair, so this could be a really good product for something like refreshing. The ingredients in this particular product, this does actually have VP, VA copolymer, as well as a PVP pretty high up, so those are hold ingredients that are very specifically hold. So this isn't just relying on like things like foam forming humectants and gums and things like that to give your hair hold. That being said, aloe leaf juice still is pretty high up on the list. Uh, this does not have any keratin amino acids or any other proteins in it. The other thing that I wanted to comment here is this does actually have glycerin in it. So I know all the other products are glycerin free. This one is not. That being said, it is a little bit farther down the list, so there's not a ton in it. So that being said, works this all the way through my hair. I did micropot my hair with perfect hair towel, scrunch as much of that moisture out as possible. I did go in with just the slightest bit more to glaze over my hair, diffuse for probably about 20 minutes until my hair was 80 to 90% dry. And then I did clip it up with the curl keeper clips. This one did not give me a cast. Um, the other two wash days get, did give me some relatively decent casts with the Trelux High Definition Dowel. This one gave me none. So then went about my day and came back later that night to uh, fluff and scrunch. And these were my final results. So my overall thoughts on this was that uh, initially I was just very happy. I had a lot of really nice clumps. My hair really spiraled nicely and held together very well. I probably could have gotten more volume out of this by going in and separating some of those, but I got enough volume that I didn't feel like it was necessary. And the frizz was really good as well. My hair was so nice and shiny. Even the wavy sections, I feel like they probably felt a little bit flatter than some of the other wash days. They didn't hold together quite as well, but I was still just very happy with this wash day. So let's move into the longevity of this wash. How does it hold up? This is what my hair looks like. So before I started filming this video, I did fluff it up a little bit and, um, let me know what your thoughts are, but I am pretty pleased with this. Now, I know I normally wear my hair in a center part. Uh, it just kind of wanted to sit this way today. And I thought it was super cute, so I just left it be. <laughs> but my hair still has a lot of really nice shine to it. It kept its definition very well. Uh, and I do feel like I have some frizz, but it's pretty average frizz for me. Overall, I'm just very happy with how this wash day has held up. What are my suggestions and thoughts? Now, I thought this was gonna be a little bit easier just based off of past experience with some of these products. That being said, I am actually very happy with every single wash day, even the one where my hair was blown around into bits and a little frizzy, it still held up actually surprisingly well. All of these products are really good, but that being said, I do want to touch on each one of them a little bit to talk about my overall thoughts and give you some general idea of which ones to try. My thoughts are if you have looser texture, so like wavier hair, if you have lower porosity, lower density, and fine hair, I would probably stick with the high definition gel, the mousse, and the serum. The leave-in conditioner I do still think is a very good product. I really love the smell of it and it is a really good high quality product, but I just don't personally use leave-in conditioners a ton. As for my thoughts on the Curl Supreme, now that I've figured out how my hair works and how much I need, it works really well for me. That being said, I would say if you have finer hair, that doesn't need a ton of moisture and you're a looser texture, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just too heavy. If you have more of my type of texture, you could get away with it, but I wouldn't say any looser than mine. Other than that though, I would still not necessarily recommend it to beginners. And the reason for that is because it is a little bit of a trickier product. I know in past videos I've done where I reviewed Trelux products, that was, I think, the big hiccup for me, was that I always put too much of that in my hair. So I wouldn't recommend it to beginners. I wouldn't recommend it if you have fine hair or looser texture hair. Otherwise, 
I would say go for it because it is a very good product and I do really like it. Um, final thoughts on the foam. I do really like the foam. I would put it for sure in my foam lineups. I'm starting to realize that they work very well for my hair and I really like hair foams. So I would probably put it in the top three or four. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. I do post a brand new video almost every Friday. I know I've been a little bad about it recently. Life is what it is right now, so I'm really trying. Uh, but that being said, it's almost every Friday. So please do like and subscribe if you like content like this. And hopefully, I will see you next time.